you lose the mark of the maker. Um, I mean, every pot is different. Um, for me, I'll actually leave throwing lines in, smudges of slip, finger marks from glazes. I mean, you just don't get that in factory wares. You lose the sort of individuality of each pot. I mean, you could make a series of pots. I mean, you could weigh your clay out, um, throw them to a gauge so they're all roughly the same size, but they're all individual. And it's, I think, these individual characteristics, I think, that sets the work apart from kind of factory produced wares. I'm Paul, I'm, I'm a potter. Some people say ceramicist, some ceramic artist. Um, sometimes it depends who I'm talking to, uh, but yeah. Ceramics, it can be extremely basic or extremely technical. I mean, you can look at, look at it in terms of all you need is your hands, lump of clay, which is basically earth and fire. It wasn't like a defining, crystallising moment. It was more of a kind of a development through my third year, I think. Uh, I think I got partway through my third year when I was really enjoying my making. Um, and obviously looking forward for when I was graduating, where I was going to go with my life, really. And I always found when I wasn't making, I felt like I was missing something. I got a bit agitated, a bit frustrated. So. Um, I started to think about obviously doing it as a career, so that's why I stayed on, did the, uh, did the fourth year. I knew I'd really enjoy it, and I knew it'd be hard work, but it's a, it's a shift from, you think, obviously when I was studying, um, spent a lot of time making, but it kind of shifts when obviously you get into the real world. Um, you have to do a lot of other things, like obviously advertising, social media, um, Basically, you've got to be your own PR, you've, you've got to be your own accountant, your own assistant. Um, obviously, just looking for materials and suppliers and finding a studio space, getting your equipment. So, the time I actually do spend making is a lot less than what I thought it would be. Um, I mean, look at it in terms of an art form, it's always slightly different for me because I do make functional wares, but it is a creative process and I am designing and creating basically um, objects um, from clay. Um, so it is an art form, but then again, it is also a creative way to pay the bills. I mean, um, as it stands at the moment, I'm not generating a great income from it, hence why I have to work a couple of jobs as well. But um, hopefully, It'll uh, shift slightly and obviously I can spend more time making um, and less time with jobs. Um, so it will be a creative way to pay the bills, which is an enjoyable way, really. It varies from region to region, obviously country to country. Uh, in terms of handmade ceramics, um, this country doesn't value it as much as, say, Japan, China and the States. Um, they have a lot more emphasis on their arts and put a lot more into it and it's recognised to a higher degree than it is in this country. I mean, you won't get many, say, Japanese potters coming to the UK to sell the work because they can't come out the same price as they would in Japan. Um, I mean, there is a market in the UK and there is a kind of a lot of people out there who are interested in ceramics, collectors and galleries and various other people. David Attenborough, he's a collector of ceramics. Um, so, I mean, it is out there. I mean, it's difficult. The general public, because um, they're not aware of it. I mean, I've, asked, I've spoken to people who I know, and when they first found out what I did, they were like, oh, do people still do that? And I'm like, well, yeah, there's a whole world out there that people don't realise. The more you seen at these things obviously you get known in sort of the ceramic community and it kind of goes from there it's similar with um, galleries and collectors they'll kind of watch you for a few years before committing to buy from you uh, or to give you an exhibition <clears throat> so it's just kind of 
slow process, but it's obviously hard work pays off in the end. It's always good to get feedback from other people. So where, that's where the loneliness is a bit difficult sometimes. I mean, I'm in an artist studio here. It's about 40 artists, but the actually amount of people I actually see here is not a great, I only probably see a handful, two or three people. And uh, people actually understand ceramics. Obviously there's only, I think one other person does ceramics in the building we don't really get to see very often. So it can be difficult, but obviously it's all about networking again, social media and keeping in contact with people he's graduated with and old tutors. So there is people to speak to when needed really. So, but yeah, it can get a bit lonely, which is not always a bad thing. I was heavily interested in Japanese ceramics and uh, I still am to a degree, but I, I found once I graduated and I started actually uh, developing my own practice, I just thought it was a bit strange. I had no association with Japan, all their work. Um, so I found myself wondering why am, I, why am I looking at it in a way. I had no reference to me, so I started looking at uh, traditional English wear. I just love the process, it's just a beautiful thing to do. Um, I c it can be equally frustrating, it is enjoyable. I mean, constantly producing hundreds of bowls or mugs, it's really quite therapeutic, but then you've got the flip side of if you're creating a new form or doing a commission for someone, it can be quite frustrating if you're doing something you're not normally used to doing or uh, producing different forms or scales. It's, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so you kind of get influence from everywhere, really. I mean, it's all pinpoint to one thing. I mean, you pick up things everyday life that you don't realise. I get so much joy when I go to people's houses or people tell me, I'll get feedback from um, customers saying, oh yeah, I use your work for such a thing, or my, my daughter has cereal out your bowl every day. It's these little things for me that uh, make it worthwhile, really. The main focus for me is just swinging from paid employment to my creative practice. That's the, the key, really. <laughs>